Good afternoon, YouTubers. Just to elaborate a little bit on uh, what Fiona was just saying in the previous video about the crash. Yeah, it was literally just over there, um, to the side of the bar. I was in bed because I was feeling a bit rough last night. And um, I had this enormous bang. <laughs> and I looked up. I thought, what's that? And you could just see this car sitting on top of the wall. And like loads of smoke drifting away and like there was, there was hundreds of people walking up and down thank goodness nobody was hurt but because the, they walk up and down there all the time at night and it must have been late it was getting on for midnight and uh it's only today this morning driving past that we see what had happened um where the wall starts it, obviously it slopes up and the car had hit the slope which is literally only that wide and he launched himself into the air, come down and skidded to a halt on top of the wall. How he did that without falling off one way or the other. And uh, destroyed the lamppost. The lamppost for the pedestrian crossing was, was down. And uh, we just looked from, I looked from the bedroom and I just, you couldn't see much. Uh, it was night time, obviously. And it uh, wasn't long before the police showed up with about, Three police cars, all blue flashing lights and everything, and there was a lot of big crowd stood around it. And I thought, wow, how on earth do you manage to do that? I'm not saying the person was drunk, it might have been, might not have been, I don't know. But that's what happened. Now, I've been to the hospital this morning, I've had a, uh, another blood check. I had a blood check on Monday, and they said, uh, one of the blood counts was below uh, white antibodies or something was below the level, whatever the level is. Checked it again today, and it's 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 just above now. So I'm going to leave it a few more days before we start the third cycle of chemo. So that's where we are. Oh, and by the way, you've got a urine infection. <laughs> just to add insult to injury, but there you go. I've got to take antibiotics as well. It's just like one thing after another, isn't it? You just get ahead of somewhere and then you take a few steps back. That's how it feels sometimes. So today I'm just going to relax. I've been watching my favourite YouTubers on the uh, on the Mac there. I sort of watch every morning. I watch uh, Escape to Rural France, the guy who's just rebuilding this enormous ruin. I take my hat off to him. The guys, the guys is. The tenacity of the guy, he just keeps going and he's doing a lot of it on his own. His, his, his cunning wheeze at the moment is to erect the yurt in the grounds. I mean, I would have done that as soon as I bought the place. I would have bought a couple of big caravans and just parked them up for sure. But now he's doing a big yurt thing. So I'm looking forward to seeing that, how he gets on with that. So I've never lived in a yurt. I've lived in um, caravans mainly tents in the army but i've never really been a camping tent person and uh yeah i've lived in vehicles and, and all kinds of things not full-time but only caravans full-time living in caravans is brilliant but i've known people who live in lorries and, and camper vans and stuff like that i did have a camper van i did live in a camper van for a while on and off <sighs> great fun and of course, the other usual one is Trevor. I watch Trevor quite a lot. He's uh, going strong, is Trevor. Trevor gets attacked from all angles all the time. So he's constantly bashing people out the way. <laughs> yeah, he's a good lad, is Trevor. That's about it, really. I think Fiona's downstairs. I think she's watching Midsummer Murders again. And uh, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better today. I wasn't so good yesterday, but. Feeling a lot better today. So I might do another video with Fiona later on. We'll see. Thanks for watching. And I might catch you later.